the crypto space is ridden with scams and frauds. Risky crypto bets have contributed to the US bank's collapses. Crypto can fix the failing financial system. These three narratives have defined our media space recently, and curiously enough, they're all true. I'm Marie from the Center, and this is the recap of our latest newsletter dedicated to the crypto finance and its three main components CFI, TradFi, and DeFi. Understanding the difference is key to finally reconcile all these controversies and maybe get a whiff of the future of finance. Let's go! CFI stands for Centralized Finance and describes traditionally managed centralized companies that work with crypto, like crypto exchanges, asset management firms, lending borrowing firms, stablecoin issuers, and so on. The most remarkable instances of fraud and mismanagement in CFI have already happened thousands of times in traditional finance, because they're both opaque, and no amount of audits or reportings can really show what's happening before things go down with the bank. TradFi describes the traditional financial companies that have diversified their offer to include crypto-related products and services. As New York Times put it, Signature Bank's collapse was fueled by risky crypto bets. And they're not all that wrong, but there's a nuance. The keyword here is not crypto. The bet could have been on biotech or our new darling, the AI. The keyword here is risky, and it refers to the poor risk management imposed by a handful of bank executives on the bank's clients. DeFi is short for decentralized finance, which is protocols built directly on blockchains that allow their users to engage in financial activity in a decentralized way. DeFi offers decentralized versions of exchanges, site management, lending borrowing, stable coins, and so on. The key takeaways about DeFi is that there's no barrier for entry. DeFi protocols do not get in possession of the client's funds. They cannot be arbitrarily halted and governance decisions are often taken by the community via DAOs. What a beautiful system, you'd say. It can certainly fix our failing finance. I'm sorry to tell you that for the moment, no, it can't. And here's why. Errors in smart contract codes can lead to hacker exploits and other unintended consequences. And while smart contract audit firms and generous bug bounty programs help, a 100% security likely does not exist, which means an easy to use insurance is necessary to drive users into the space. Also, DeFi is still pretty complex. And uh, if swapping a coin for another is pretty straightforward, interacting with the yield optimization protocol or a liquidity providing protocol is much less obvious. Finally, and most importantly, who says decentralization means responsibility? A coin sent to a wrong address is lost forever, and a malicious transaction approved from your wallet is likely to drain all your funds. Many people are not ready for this kind of responsibility. So, all in all, I believe DeFi is the future of finance, but this future is not immediate and it will not happen if the industry does not work on easy to use insurance, better user experience, and the guardrails that would take some of the responsibility off users' shoulders. For more insights, visit the center, subscribe to our newsletter, and follow us on social media. See you next week!